It all starts with a blank canvas, or in this case, a brutally honest concrete floor. Before you can build a dream, you have to create a perfectly level playing field. This isn't just grinding concrete, it's the quiet, meticulous first chapter of a much larger story. And then the glorious, beautiful chaos of destruction. There's something primal about it. Taking down a wall isn't just demolition, it's an act of defiance against the old. Look at this mechanical beast. It's like a giant, unfeeling waiter serving up endless trays of bricks. It doesn't get tired, it doesn't complain, it's the tireless, beating heart of the operation. Now this is surgery. A diamond tit blade carving through solid concrete with the kind of precision you'd expect from a brain surgeon. It's a violent, dusty, and definitely loud procedure, yet there's an undeniable elegance to the clean, perfect line it leaves behind. After the chaos, the finesse. They're stretching a new skin across the ceiling, hiding all the guts. You see, destruction is a two-way street. What goes up must sometimes come down. Ripping up a floor is a messy, thankless job, but it's the necessary exorcism of the old to make way for the new. Ah, the unglamorous but utterly essential art of scraping paint. This is the satisfying part, peeling off the protective liner from a freshly laid floor. It's like unwrapping a gift you gave to yourself, the final reveal of a job well done, a perfect, clean surface ready for life. And now the plaster. It's like frosting a cake if the cake was made of brick and the frosting was a mix of gypsum and water. There's a real art to this, a fluid motion, a practiced hand that turns a rough wall into a smooth canvas. Every great structure needs a strong skeleton. This isn't just wrapping a column in steel. It's giving the building its strength, its very spine. It's the hidden power that will allow it to stand for generations. Sometimes you have to trim the fat. This powerful saw is doing just that, slicing off excess concrete with brutal efficiency. There's no room for error and no space for anything that doesn't belong. It's construction's version of tough love. The process of applying plaster is a dance, a rhythmic application of pressure and grace, turning a lumpy, uneven surface into something flawlessly smooth. It's a testament to the skill that exists in these anonymous hands all over the world. Again, we return to the foundation, grinding the floor until it's as flat and smooth as a sheet of glass. This machine glides across the surface like a Zamboni in some strange industrial ice rink, preparing the stage for the main event. The roof takes shape, a jigsaw puzzle of massive proportions assembled against the sky. It's a shield, a promise of shelter and safety, and a testament to mankind's desire to carg out a comfortable space in a chaotic world. And we're back to the beautiful violence. Tearing down a wall with a hydraulic hammer is the industrial equivalent of a temper tantrum. It's loud, it's messy. Applying plaster to a ceiling is a true test of strength and skill. This machine is a mechanical woodpecker on a mission. It relentlessly pecks at the asphalt, breaking it down with a staccato rhythm that you can feel in your bones. This is the sound of urban renewal. There's a strange delicacy to demolishing glass. It shatters, it tinkles, it falls apart in a cascade of sharp glittering pieces. The art of the perfect wall. More plaster, more smoothing. It's a repetitive, almost meditative process. The goal is perfection. A surface so smooth it feels like polished stone. 
ready for the final touch of paint. Forget the brush and roller. This is painting for the 21st century. The paint sprayer delivers a fine, even mist, coating the wall in a fraction of the time. Some walls are more stubborn than others. This one requires a bit more persuasion. Each blow from the jackhammer is a punctuation mark in a sentence of change. And from the dust of destruction, creation, a new wall rises, brick by careful brick. It's like watching a real-life game of Tetris, where every piece fits perfectly to create a solid, enduring structure. You can never be too smooth. This final polishing of the wall is what separates the amateurs from the pros. It's that last 10% of effort that makes 100% of the difference, creating a surface that begs to be touched. The devil, as they say, is in the details. Cleaning the grout lines is a tedious, painstaking job, but it's what makes the final floor pop. It's the difference between a good job and a great one. Hanging wallpaper is a surprisingly tense affair. It's a battle against bubbles, wrinkles, and misalignment. The satisfying click-clack of a wood floor coming together. Each plank is a piece of a larger puzzle, fitting together to create a warm, organic surface underfoot. This is something else entirely, a wall-mounted saw cutting a perfectly straight line with unnerving precision. It's like a device straight out of a James Bond movie, a piece of high-tech wizardry in the middle of a dusty construction site. More deconstruction. You get the sense that building is a constant cycle of creation and destruction, a cosmic dance between making and unmaking. This wall has served its purpose, and now it must go. Up on the roof again, this time with a sprayer. It's a coat of armor, a liquid shield being applied to protect the roof from the relentless assault of sun and rain. It's a dirty job, but the view must be incredible. Laying down insulation is like putting a warm blanket over the house. It's the unseen hero that will keep the home cool in the summer and warm in the winter, a silent guardian of comfort. There's a strange, almost intoxicating smell to hot asphalt. This machine lays it down like a thick black river. Back to the basics, a simple scraper, a determined worker, and a wall that needs to be stripped bare. the simple, transformative power of a can of paint and a roller. With every stroke, the room changes, brightens, becomes something new. It's one of the most immediate and satisfying parts of the entire process. The concrete pour. This is a moment of truth. The liquid lifeblood of the structure is poured into place where it will harden into the solid, unyielding floor that will support everything. The plaster is back at it, a master of their craft. Watch the way the trowel glides across the wall, leaving a perfect, glassy surface in its wake. Now for the finishing touches. Painting lines on a factory floor might seem minor, but it's the language of the space. It dictates flow, ensures safety, and brings order to potential chaos. It's all about the finish. This final skim coat of plaster is the money shot. It's what separates a mere wall from a perfect surface, a testament to the idea that a job isn't done until it's done right. Laying an epoxy floor is like creating a work of art. The colorful resin is poured and spread, hardening into a durable, seamless surface that shines like a showroom. It's as tough as it is beautiful. Some walls just don't want to go quietly. This requires the heavy artillery, a demolition hammer that pulverizes concrete into submission. 
It's a brutal, noisy, and incredibly effective way to make a point. And if the machine fails, there's always the oldest tool in the box, the sledgehammer. This is pure analog destruction, a visceral, satisfying release of energy that reduces a wall to a pile of rubble. Painting a ceiling is a special kind of hell. It's an awkward, neck-straining job that guarantees you'll end up with paint in your hair. But the result, a bright, clean overhead expanse, is always worth the pain. The floor is coming up, piece by jarring piece. A hydraulic breaker shatters the old surface, a cacophonous symphony of destruction that makes way for a new beginning from the ground up. Behold the Brick Highway, a conveyor belt that moves an endless stream of freshly made bricks like a terracotta river flowing through the heart of the factory. The robots are here and they're stacking bricks. This robotic arm moves with a precision and speed that is both mesmerizing and a little terrifying. It's the perfect marriage of ancient building material and cutting edge technology. This is an unusual one, laying fabric on a floor. It could be a base layer for soundproofing or waterproofing, a hidden membrane that will play a crucial, unseen role in the comfort and longevity of the space. The patient, determined work of scraping a ceiling. It's a blizzard of old paint flakes, a messy, dusty job that requires the patience of a saint. And once it's bare, the plastering begins anew. A fresh coat, a new skin, skillfully applied to that overhead surface. It's the slow, careful process of making something old look brand new. Applying grout between tiles is like the final stitching that holds the whole beautiful patchwork together. This final, messy step locks everything in place, creating a solid, unified surface from hundreds of individual pieces. Tiling around pipes and drains is where the real artistry comes in. It requires custom cuts, careful measurements, and a problem solver's mind. A finishing coat of sealant is being applied. It's the invisible shield that will protect the floor from stains, water, and the abuses of daily life. The final protective blessing on a newly completed surface. Another wooden floor goes down, the room filling with the satisfying sound of tapping blocks and the faint smell of sawdust. It's the installation of warmth and character, plank by beautiful plank. Construction isn't just about buildings. Landscaping is the art of shaping the earth itself creating a beautiful, living environment around the structures we build. It's the final frame for the picture. The future is officially here, using a drone for heavy lifting, like some kind of futuristic stork delivering a bundle of steel instead of a baby. It's a stunting display of how technology is changing the face of construction. This spray gun applies a primer coat, the essential first layer that ensures the top coat will adhere perfectly. It's the foundation of a good paint job, a critical step that's often overlooked by amateurs. The simple, timeless act of laying tile, a bed of mortar, a steady hand, and a good eye. It's a craft that has been practiced for thousands of years, and there's a primal satisfaction in seeing it come together.
Here, a waterproof membrane is being sprayed onto the wall. It's a high-tech barrier against moisture, a seamless rubberized shield that will protect the building's bones from the insidious damage of water. The assembly of drywall ceiling. These large, heavy sheets are muscled into place, creating the rooms and corridors of our lives. It's the rapid-fire creation of interior architecture. Once the plaster is dry, it's time for the final sanding. This machine, combined with a skilled operator, smooths out any final imperfections, creating a surface that is flawlessly, unbelievably smooth to the touch. Demolition with a power chisel is a precise and brutal art. And here it is. Laying hot asphalt is a fiery, smoky, and frankly badass process. The final step for this floor? Spreading grout into the joints. This man moves with an efficiency that speaks of countless hours spent on his knees, perfecting this one crucial task. It's the glue that holds it all together. The hidden nervous system of the building is installed. Running electrical conduits is like plotting the veins and arteries of a structure a complex web that will carry the energy to power our modern lives. One last time, the hypnotic glide of the plasterer's trowel. It's a reminder that beneath all the technology and brute force, and finally, the metal roof is installed. It's the crown on the building, a shimmering, durable shield that will stand against the elements for decades to come. A fitting end to a long, loud, and beautiful symphony of construction.